Melena Scantlin here. Welcome to Variety's This Week in Comedy, where we bring you the biggest news in comedy covering movies, TV, and the web. Judd Apatow has been lending his producer title to several projects lately, including this month's Anchorman sequel, The Legend Continues. And on that note, which one of you convicts with the longest record can pass me the mashed potatoes? Oh, but the comedy vet is stepping behind the camera again for a new flick starring funny girl Amy Schumer. You never send somebody a picture of your boobs or anything? No, God, no. no. What about your butthole? Schumer will write the project titled Trainwreck, and it will be her first lead role in a feature film. Her previous big screen credits, uh, just playing woman number one in last year's Steve Carell flick Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Welcome to the big leagues, Amy. The movie deal comes not too long after her Comedy Central series Inside Amy Schumer got picked up for a second season. Interesting. I like it more. But this won't be the first time she'll have an Apatow project on her resume. Earlier this year, Schumer made an appearance on the HBO series Girls. I'm sorry, in my world, that would be like hurting Mother Teresa. Really? Except Mother Teresa didn't blow my cousin. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Seth Rogen has an unlikely person to thank for making his next movie. Apparently, Seth and his writing partner, Evan Goldberg, had been trying to sell a movie about a crack-smoking politician for a while, but the story didn't seem to appeal to Hollywood studios until now. Enter Rob Ford, Toronto's disgraced mayor who recently admitted to smoking crack. What are the odds? How many yes, I've made, I've made mistakes. I, all I can do now is apologize and move on. Seth recently told the province.com, quote, we were getting ready to shop it around to studios again, and then at the perfect moment, the real life version of this started to play out. Seth also revealed that they already have a few A-listers in mind for the lead role, and they are a mix of comedy stars and hunky action hero types. Topping the list, Jason Bateman, John Goodman, Michael Fassbender, and Brian Cranston. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. As you can see, we are soaking all the cocks in this room right now. These three guys right here are some of the most talented cock soakers. Say hello, you old cock soakers. This month marks the return of Jimmy Fallon to the Saturday Night Live stage. It will be the second time Fallon has hosted the show since leaving it for his late night talk show gig in 2004. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise, let's go! Even more exciting is the news of the night's musical guest, Mr. Justin Timberlake, a pairing that Fallon joked about on his show. We don't we don't get along, you know that, yeah. Yeah, we don't. no, I, I know, I've heard it's rough. Of course, we all know JT and Fallon's collaborations have become pretty legendary from their SNL skit, The Barry Gibb Talk Show. Talking about <laughs> to their history of hip-hop medley on Late Night. The duo will reunite on the SNL episode airing December 21st. Other stars set to host for the remaining episodes of 2013 include Paul Rudd on December 7th and John Goodman on December 14th. I put this house show together, I'm Barry Gibb, I will put you in the ground! <laughs> now, what if you turned on the evening news and found out that Ron Burgundy was your town's new anchorman? Yeah, well, we've dreamt about that too, guys. But the dream was an actual reality for residents of Bismarck, North Dakota last weekend. Good evening. I'm Amber Schatz. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Thanks for joining us tonight. Will Farrell was all class and mustache as he delivered the news in full Ron Burgundy gear. Amber, you look lovely tonight. Thank you, Ron. You too. Are you married? No. <laughs> well, I am, so don't get any ideas. This just marks one of the many appearances the actor has made as his famous Anchorman character leading up to the sequel's release this month. This includes a late night appearance on Conan and announcing duties for Canada's Olympic curling trials. I won't even ask if you're wearing anything underneath those kilts or that kilt. Well, you know, the usual answer is you're not. You're but not, yes. I'm, I'm wearing a, well, a because, usual Speedo. Good. Speedo. <laughs> Anchorman 2 will hit theaters two days earlier than expected on December 18th. The Hunger Games sequel, Catching Fire, continues to dominate at the box office, even bringing in a whopping, get this, $110.2 million during the extended holiday weekend. But there's one guy who's shedding light on a major issue with the franchise. A teenage girl challenging a corrupt dystopian government with the help of a boy who, all things considered, isn't even that hot. The hilarious video came courtesy of satire publication The Onion and its fake movie critic Peter K. Rosenthal. His deadpan review continues with equally insightful observations on Gail's hotness and his suggestions for cuter tributes for the franchise. These are my current favorite boys right now. 
Ross Lynch is totally hot. Grant Gustin, very hot. Per usual, there were those people who weren't fully aware that the vid was strictly for laughs, with one commenter writing, for shame, you're clearly reviewing without knowing the background. Katniss doesn't love PETA because he's hot. He gave her f***ing bread. She loves him because he's honorable. Duh. If there's one thing we've all learned this year, it's to never ever make fun of Kanye West. Just ask Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel's out of line to try and spoof in any way the first piece of honest media in years, okay? Well, apparently James Franco and Seth Rogen didn't get the memo because the two Hollywood pals set the internet on fire with a parody of the rapper's newest music video featuring, you know, his fiance Kim Bound to. You guys know the one. Bam. Uh-huh, honey. The Franco Rogan version titled Pound 3 reenacts the entire video, like all of it, complete with a topless Seth and some serious guy-on-guy -guy lip action. Bam. Uh-huh, honey. We braced ourselves for the signature Kanye backlash, but are you guys ready for this? All we got was this tweet from Kim to Seth that read, Kanye says what's up, he loves you guys, he laughed so hard at this. So Seth responds by giving Kim props for her expert motorcycle straddling skills, tweeting, Kim Kardashian, some of those positions were really uncomfortable, that shit is harder than it looks. Thanks for watching Varieties This Week in Comedy on Official Comedy. Be sure to click subscribe for all the must-see comedy moments from the world of TV, movies, and the web.